Hello guys and welcome to this another video of Angular 2 series for absolute beginners. So basically till now we have seen what all can we achieve using our components but basically we have been focusing on a single component. However in a real world application we usually end up having multiple components and most of them are uh, embedded within each other. So there, there is basically kind of parent child relationship among various components. So in this video we are going to see how to achieve that parent child kind of relationship and how to communicate between parent and child controller in that case so basically for this video what i have done is i have created these two new components parent and child and i already have them in my editor here so you can see we have a child component.ts we have a child component.html we have a parent component.ts we have a parent component.html as well and basically i have included these two component in my app model.ts already apart from that i have made a small change to this app component.html file wherein i have removed the user component that we were using till our last video and i have placed this parent component only so basically if you see parent component refers to this uh, parent.component.html file which is right here what this file contains is uh, an input tag a button and a paragraph tag of its own and then right at the bottom it contains the entire child component so this is how a child component is embedded into a parent component this particular file the whole file belongs to the parent component but this particular child component is embedded here and this child component comes from this child component.html file so if you see how it is going to look on the screen it will look something like this so basically we have this app header at the top and then and this whole uh, then this whole page contains the parent component this basically is entirely a parent component out of which the blue section is coded inside the parent component as well while the child component is a separate component which is embedded into the parent component but basically on the page we have just two component one is app header and the other one is parent component as a whole so basically uh, what we uh, what we are going to see in this video is how we can communicate between these parent component so basically i want that if i make any change to this uh, this parent component right here uh, this should reflect inside this uh, this paragraph tag in the child component and if i make some changes to the child component right here then these changes should reflect back to the parent component right so let's start from parent component to child component communication uh, i'll start with my parent component.html file i have this input tag right here to which i have provided this angular reference variable pretext and right now right here i have this child component inside the parent component.ts i have two properties both of which are string so the first one is parent to child text which will contain the text that I type in my parent component and will be sent to the child component whereas the other one is child to parent text which means that this text will be transferred from child to parent and inside my child component uh, I have this property parent to child text right uh, the text which I will receive from parent to this child now guys for such kind of communication between two between two components what we need is uh, this inputs and outputs these two fields are something new which we haven't discussed in our videos yet so whenever your component receives some parameter from an outer com uh, an outer component or an external component you need to declare those parameter inside this input uh, inputs property in your component decorator for the component right similarly if your uh, component sends some parameter out of it to another component those properties you should uh, you have to uh, reflect or you have to write them in your outputs parameter for this component decorator so basically if we see what we are doing is we are receiving this parent text so this is not parent text this should rather be parent to child text okay so what we are doing is we are receiving this parent to child text property in our html uh, or in our child component and later we will be sending this child event from our parent uh, from our child to the parent so i hope it is clear what is the use of these inputs and outputs right 
going back going back to our parent component we have this input tag to which i have already assigned this pretext angular variable and now what i want is whenever i make uh, a input change to this input tag that basically means whenever whenever i type into this input tag uh, i should uh, send the data from this file or this component to my child component so guys uh, this is very simple there is nothing complicated here the the trick is guys to treat this child component right here as a regular html node in this parent component like all these divs and paragraph tags which are the part of parent component you should treat this child component in a similar manner so what we can do is uh, we can bind a property to it like uh, the property that we want parent to child text so i guess this was a property here we can just see it right here yeah so this is the property parent to child text let me copy it just to make sure yeah so this is the property and we want this property to be bound to this value right p text dot value so we have already seen binding to the property if you are not aware of that i recommend uh, you see my another video wherein i explain how to bind to properties and attributes in angular basically what i'm doing here is i'm binding this value field from this p text sorry this is this should be p text like this so i'm binding this this p text dot value from my input tag to my parent to child text property which is a property in my child component so basically if i see yes i do have this parent to child text property in my child component this is a class property here and now i can bind this directly inside the child html so i want that html from my parent tag to appear right here in the child tag so i will bind sorry guys um, i will just have to bind this property name only parent child tag that is right uh, or i think it's text rather yeah so i think we are good to go let's see if this works what i'm going to do now is i'm going to type in here uh, text from parent and you see this data is passed down to this child component and because i have made changes on input uh, in my parent component dot tl i am i am triggering this input event so my changes changes are reflected as soon as i type into my parent component right now guys let's see how to achieve the opposite behavior so basically now i wish that if i child something here uh, sorry if i type something here uh, like say text from child text from child so this should this should be propagated to this parent component right here let's see how to do that so guys if you if you notice in our parent component dot html we had this child uh, we had this child written here right so we had a placeholder in our parent component for this child component uh, wherein we made this change but the opposite uh, this is not the case uh, when we see it from child to parent so basically we do not have any mention of our parent component inside our child template so how do we achieve that behavior right basically we need to make use of events in such cases i will show you how how to do that um, first of all let me make a similar c text here for child um, for child text reference variable here yeah. and let's again call this input event which is a dummy event basically that we need to trigger when we change our values input field uh, basically guys angular um, angular checks for the changes in the values only when some event is triggered so what i am doing right here is i am triggering an input event basically uh, on that event angular should be looking for any changes in the components so i have this c text here inside my input field and on input basically let me call uh, a function on input let's call it on input let's call it just on input and let's pass this c text for value okay so we are passing the value of this reference here next thing that we need to do is yeah whenever we want uh, to pass our data from our child to parent component we have to do that in an event manner so the first thing that we need here is to
to import this event emitter from angular core you have to load this event emitter that is available from angular core next you need to make a private property or a class property here let's call it as event so it is an instance of event emitter sorry it's event emitter and basically this is a generic type so for now i will keep it let's keep it string because that is what we are passing so basically if you, if you need to pass arrays from your child to parent you need to make it array type if you if you are passing a particular instance of some class uh, then you need to put the name of that class right here okay guys so we have this child event in our child component next next what we need is uh, on this on input function let's call it or on input function rather so whenever this input field changes this function is going to be called so what i'm doing is i'm implementing this function on my child component class so on input function and as you know i'm getting the value from my html so let's call it name uh, or let's let's call it text it's not a name it's just a text and in this function what i need to do is i need to emit this event so this dot child event this dot child event refers to this class property and i need to emit it i need to emit um, and basically it passes data along so guys basically what i'm doing here is on change of input values i am triggering this child event and passing the change value along with that event next i need to uh, okay let's save this next i need to listen to that event in my parent controller so again we are going to change this but this time instead of property this it's, uh, it's an event so i need to listen to it in this manner child event equal to um, let's let's call a function here on child event on child event and we need to pass the event object so as we have already seen in our previous videos there is something called a dollar event object which is provided by angular whenever a event is raised so we are listening to this child event from our child class and we are calling this on child event function let's append that function at the end basically i do that with all the functions so uh, we will be listening to this on child event function whenever a child event is triggered from our child component okay uh, let's go and implement this function in my parent component so on child event function i will be getting the event out of this let's call it event and basically what i needed was uh, i i i need to bind the data received from my child component to this child to parent text right because this is what it means the text received from child for the parent let's bind this property this dot child to parent text is equal to event basically guys whatever you emit from your child component whatever data you emit whatever you put inside this emit parenthesis this parameter or this data is provided by angular uh in the form of this event right here so this event is nothing but the same string that will be emitted from your child component and that is what i need to bind to my parent component so so that is what i did here i listened to that event let's call it text only because basically it's a text event seems like the text is inside that object but that's not the case this itself is a text uh, so let's call it text and now I have banded this to the child to parent text and now I can go ahead and bind this to whenever uh, wherever I need it on my screen so basically here I need it inside the paragraph tag so child to parent text right guys let's see if it works fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my child component let's type data from child so if you can see it's being propagated back to the parent let's check our previous functionality once again so let's type in data from parent so that works as well so guys this is how we 
make communication between between different components particularly child and parent components and that is all i wanted to show you in this video and i believe this is uh, this video will be the last video from our component perspective we have very much achieved a lot of things that we can do with our components and from the next video we will start diving into angular directives so guys hope you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe for our next videos thank you guys i will see you in the next one